Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do split screen video. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is grab a piece of video and we'll do my dirty car here with my thick wheels, my big boy wheels. And secondly here, we're going to do a stock FRS with normal size wheels. Okay, let me go ahead and make these about the same length. All right, now we got two clips about four seconds long and you'll notice the top clip here covers up the bottom clip. So let me show you an example. If we move this clip here and we put this on top, same thing. So anytime you have a clip on top, it cover, it'll cover the other one. We can move it a little bit to the side and it'll cover it. Yeah. So the way you do split screen is you click on the top clip here. You go to the first icon here and this is video overlay settings. Then you're going to go down to the drop down here and go to split screen. Okay. And now we have two clips side by side. Okay. Now that we have two clips side by side, I want to add a title here. So let's go to the titles. I want it on the bottom. So we're going to use the lower third right here. Drag that on top and make it the same length. Going to double click. We're going to go over here. And we're actually going to change the text here to thick. And I want to actually make this bigger. So let's go to like 168. We're going to change the justification to the left. And then I'll space it out a little bit and then do thin. But I need a little bit more space. Okay. So now we have our video on the left, which has the thick, 17 by nine aftermarket wheel with a nice 255 tire and the video on the right has the stock. Okay. That's it for part one of this tutorial. Now let me show you what I'm going to do for the second part. Okay. For part two of this video, I want to show you how to make this here. It takes a couple extra steps, but in the end, I think it's going to look a lot better. So what we have here is the video that we made the split screen video. And what I did was I created a transparent image with custom text, custom fonts, and then I overlaid it on top. So that's the basics of what I did. So what you're going to have to do is with your split screen video, we're going to have to export it right now to make it into one video since iMovie has a limitation and won't let us add another layer up top here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go to the right corner here. I'll hit file and I'm just going to export it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. Should be pretty quick because it's a short video here. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and locate that video. It's called split split and we'll drag that into the timeline here. And now we can go ahead and delete these ones here. So now we have the video in a single clip here and it's split screen. And because of that limitation, we still have one spot open here. So now I can drag that image with the transparent background that I created and put it right on top. And now we have our video. If you need to do a little bit of fine tuning, you can click on it here. Go to the first icon here, select picture in a picture. And now that it's in picture in a picture mode, you can actually control the size of the image itself. If you need to move it around just a little bit, make it bigger, make it smaller. Okay. So maybe something like that, but we can actually watch the movie and see if it's in a good spot. And I think it is, I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. And once you get it to the position you like, you can pretty much export that movie or you can keep adding clips and make, make a longer movie, you know, whatever you, you feel like doing. Yeah. Well, okay. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you kind of kick it up a little bit, make it a little bit, you know, better looking. And the best thing about it, when you use an image like this, a transparent image with any image editing software, you can make this as customized as you want. You can do drawings, you can do arrows, you can do, you know, anything you can think of multiple different colors. And depending on what video you're doing, you can make your projects look pretty cool. Okay. Well, that's it. I think we're done here. As usual, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. And we'll see you next time. Peace and aloha. Hey.